Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Curse of Oak Island Drilling at the Money Pit Hits a Large Cavity The Curse of Oak Island drilling team has hit a major cavity in the Money Pit area, which the team believes is either a tunnel or a secret chamber. This week on Oak Island, all the main action was happening at the Money Pit, as the team increasingly focuses their efforts on finding the buried treasure in that area. Success rates have been a bit up and down, as always. But this episode showed that real progress is being made. The episode began with an expert briefing the guys in the war room. The team had asked geophysicist Jeremy Church if he could take another look at the data from a seismic survey done a couple of years ago to see if any more useful information could be gleaned from it. And apparently, yes. Church presented a very fancy, if a little confusing, computer graphic that showed what appeared to be a square-like structure buried under the surface of the money pit area. The structure is about 160 feet down and has an area of 12 x 12 feet. This info instantly had Marty Lagina wondering if it was the elusive offset chamber that he increasingly believes is hidden underground. But the geophysicist had more. He had also discovered what appeared to be a tunnel at a depth of 100 feet, stretching from shaft 12 to this mysterious new structure. Shaft 12 was constructed in 1894 by treasure hunter Fred Blair his team tunneled down for 30 feet until they were forced to abandon the shaft because of flooding. The guys are expecting to receive delivery of four 10-foot wide steel casings in the next few weeks, and as Rick Lagina pointed out, they are hungry for some reliable data that will guarantee them success when deciding where to put these casings. With that in mind, they decided to chase Church's info with the borehole drill. Perhaps a little surprisingly, the guys ignored the structure for now and chose to set up the drill near shaft 12 to look for the tunnel. And the result was rather intriguing. The drill team didn't expect to hit anything of note until around the 95 to 100 feet mark. But just after 65 feet, the drill suddenly dropped rapidly and water began gushing up. They quickly realized that they hit air which was rushing and pushing water to the surface. Oak Island team believes they've hit something very old. After confirming that they hadn't hit a deposit of natural gas, which could have caused a massive explosion, they concluded it hit a cavity. Surveyor Steve Guptill announced, we pierced something that hasn't been pierced in a long time. Because of the way the drill and the air in the hole were behaving, the team decided that they had either hit a dead end tunnel or some kind of a chamber. Marty was delighted. He was thinking this could be a secret offset chamber that's hiding the real treasure. The location is interesting because the historical documents make no reference to any searcher work in this specific area. It's all virgin territory, meaning this is very likely the work of folk depositing treasure. In the murky dawn light, Oak Island cast an ominous silhouette against the brooding sky. The air was thick with anticipation as the Lagina brothers and their dedicated team prepared for another day of relentless drilling at the infamous Money Pit. This mysterious shaft had been both a source of hope and despair for centuries, its secrets fiercely guarded by time and the elements. Today, however, the island seemed to hold its breath, as if aware that something extraordinary was about to be unearthed. Rick Lagina stood by the drill rig, his eyes reflecting the wariness of countless days spent chasing whispers and shadows. Yet, beneath the fatigue, there was an unyielding determination, a fire that had been kindled in his youth when he first read about the island's legendary treasure. Beside him, his brother Marty, ever the pragmatist, studied the geological maps and data with a furrowed brow. While Rick's belief was almost spiritual, Marty's faith laid in the cold, hard facts of science and technology. As the drill bit burrowed deeper into the earth, the ground shuddered slightly, sending a ripple of excitement through the assembled team. Every crake and groan of the machinery 
seemed to echo the island's reluctance to reveal its secrets. Crate Tester monitored the rig's progress, his seasoned eyes scanning the readouts for any anomalies. This operation was as much about precision as it was about perseverance. Hours passed, the monotony of the drilling punctuated by the occasional tense moment when the rig encountered unexpected resistance. The team was used to these minor setbacks. Oak Island was notorious for its natural traps and obstacles. But today felt different. There was an electric charge in the air, a sense that they were on the brink of a significant discovery. Then it happened. A sharp, resonant clang reverberated through the drill shaft, followed by an eerie silence. The drill had struck something substantial. For a heartbeat, the world seemed to pause, and then the team erupted into action. Voices overlapped in a cacophony of excitement and urgent commands. The drill operator adjusted the controls, easing the bit through the obstruction with delicate precision. Jack Begley and Gary Drayton rushed to the edge of the pit, their faces alight with anticipation. They had seen countless false alarms, but this felt different, monumental. As the drill bit continued its journey, the resistance gave way, and the drill plunged into a void. Hold it! Rick shouted, his voice cutting through the din. The rig ground to a halt, the drill bit suspended in the darkness of the unknown cavity below. The team peered down, their flashlights piercing the gloom but revealing little. The void was too vast to comprehend fully, a black maw that seemed to swallow the light and their collective breath. Marty, ever the scientist, was the first to speak. We need to lower the camera, he said, already moving to retrieve the specialized equipment designed for just such a scenario. The team sprang into action, each member performing their tasks with practice efficiency. The camera was secured to the line and slowly lowered into the abyss. The monitor flickered to life, displaying a grainy, black and white feed. As the camera descended, the contours of the cavity began to take shape. The walls were jagged, carved by nature and time, but there was something else, an unnatural symmetry that hinted at human intervention. The camera's light glinted off metal, and the team gasped as the outline of a massive chest came into view, half buried in the sediment at the bottom of the cavity. Is that what I think it is? Jack whispered, his voice trembling with excitement. It certainly looks like it, Gary replied, his eyes wide with amazement. The chest was intricately adorned with ornate carvings, its surface tarnished by centuries of exposure to the elements. It was a tantalizing glimpse of what lay hidden in the depths of Oak Island. Rick's mind raced. Could this be the fabled treasure that had eluded so many before them? The Ark of the Covenant, the Holy Grail, or perhaps something even more enigmatic, a relic whose true significance was beyond their wildest dreams. Steady, everyone, Marty cautioned, his practical nature asserting itself. We need to approach this methodically, we can't afford to make any mistakes. His words were a reminder of the countless traps and pitfalls that had claimed the efforts of so many treasure hunters over the years. The team worked with meticulous care, lowering additional equipment into the cavity to assess its stability and plan their next move. The excitement was palpable, but so was the tension. They were standing on the precipice of history and the weight of that responsibility was not lost on any of them. As the hours passed, the initial euphoria gave way to a focused determination. The team was acutely aware that this could be the breakthrough they had been waiting for.